welcome to The Pilates Show, where we explore creative and innovative Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm your host, Casey Marie Hurt, and today we're gonna to be answering a viewer question. Eva writes in, Hey Casey, I've been working on a stop reformer lately and I find I'm really uncomfortable in my back while doing feet and straps. I'm a small person. Is this uh, stop reformer just too big and heavy for me? Is there any way to make it work for my body? Thanks so much for writing in, Eva. There's lots of different ways that you can customize any reformer that you're on to help support the contours of your body. So uh, luckily enough, we have a Stott reformer in our studio in Asheville. So I went ahead and, and pulled it out. And you know, everyone, you know, depending on where you started, what equipment you started on, it can feel very different switching up um, the, the different brands of equipment between Stott, Balanced Body, Peak, Grotz, they all have their different characteristics, different dimensions. Um, also, it, you know, each, each type and um, producer of the equipment definitely does cater to a, a different type and a shape of person. So a lot of times, um, our men like the stop reformer a little bit more because there's a little bit more width here, but some people even say that the stop reformer feels a little short because the bed feels shorter here. So, but again, lots of different ways that you can customize a reformer to contour the body. Now, what works for one person will not work for the next person walking in the door. So it's really important to have lots and lots of easy props that you can keep at the studio so that you can really give your client that comfort feel. Because honestly, if they are gripping up against the equipment, then what they're doing is just building more and more tightnesses in their body. They're feeding their compensatory patterns that we're trying to unwind. Um, and we really want to find this idea of ease and communication and dancing with the equipment. Um, so it starts with the reformer here. So Eva talked and was asking about feet and straps. So the thing that I want to talk about first is actually the straps. You want to make sure that if you're feeling a lot of tension in your low back, it might be because the risers are really low. You want to go ahead and bring the risers up um, to their highest capacity. That'll help take a little bit of the shearing of the legs and the pelvis. Instead of it being pulled down from the bottom of the reformer, we can get it to even or a little bit higher. That takes a lot of force off of the back of the pelvis and the spine. So that's somewhere that you can start. Now the Stott uh, color-coded springs they are actually a heavier springs than what a lot of the manufacturers um, are making now. So Peak and Balanced Body, they have a little bit lighter spring tension in general, of course. Um, and on um, Grotz and Stott have a little bit heavier spring tension in general. Now, that being said, you know, we're really, uh, we really have a wide range of different springs that you can order from each manufacturer. So go ahead, order some lighter springs, put them on, take some of the heavier springs off so that you can really pick and choose what kind of tension you wanna work with, whether yourself or with your clients. Here, there are four reds and a blue. That means there are four heavies and um, a light. So if I had my way, I would get a little bit more uh, a varied spring tensions for this so that we can lighten up the springs for a smaller person. Now, things that can help make you feel comfortable are some um, yoga blankets or um, these are Mexican blankets. I get these from my hometown in Tucson. These are really comfortable. You can do one or two on here with a smart spine pillow. This can create, as you'll see Jen and I talk about a lot, a little bit of a nest, 
There's lots of cushion here, and it really does help to contour to the innate curves of the body and give lots and lots of support and sensory perception so that everything really does bring up to the skin so that you can really feel uh, how to organize in the supine position. Now, some people don't like how squishy that is. I'd keep the pillow there so that they can anchor their back body on, but Something that feels really nice is to actually take two smart spines and bring them to the sides of the pillows. And what this is doing is creating a cradle for the body to snugly fit here. And it really does hug in like two bumpers to really give the side body lots and lots of information about where it's at in space. This can be super comfortable um, to feel like you're very supported in the carriage. Now the last one I'm gonna show you is actually with one smart spine and it's creating a saddle for the sitting bones. So once your client lays down on the reformer, what you can do is place the smart spine right at the sitting bones. You can pull it up and in towards you and they can even hold it here for a little bit of upper core stability, but this gives you a sensory perception of where you can reach your sitting bones into feeling very snug, and whether you're doing you know, footwork here or feet and straps, you feel like you're very connected to the reformer. That's all for today. If you have any observations or questions that you'd like to see answered on an upcoming episode, you can comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or our forum. See you next time and never stop learning. But, but, man. Try to just... Bam!